Updates around the coronavirus and potential fallout continue to consume investor attention with risk markets back under a little pressure easing off from this latest record run in U.S. stocks. The latest reports out of China have been unsettling with the death toll rising along with a spike in new reported cases. There hasn't been a whole lot going on on the economic calendar and the market will be looking to digest today's U.S. data highlighted by inflation reads and also featuring initial jobless claims. We have seen currencies broadly recover against the U.S. dollar in recent sessions, though this does not include the euro, which trades at its lowest levels since 2017 against the buck and its lowest levels in four and a half years against the Swiss franc. The weakness in eurozone data and recession fears have been behind a lot of this move, though we suspect there will be resistance to all of this euro depreciation from the likes of the U.S. administration and Swiss central bank. Dealers do report plenty of demand from medium and longer term accounts below 109 in euro dollar. On the cryptocurrency front, things have stalled a bit after Bitcoin had poked back above 10,000, though this initial wave of resistance was to be expected with the market running overbought and into that ceiling that is the October 2019 high. That's all for now.